Greetings and welcome to this short video demonstration of the new Microtrack Dry Image Analyzer FINE or DIAF. The analyzer is pictured here and at the top right is the sample funnel and vibratory feeder from where the sample falls through the sensing zone. The DIAF is designed with options to apply air pressure to the sample feed stream and a vacuum to the exit tube to be able to properly disperse the fine cohesive powders. But it's also designed to measure fragile non-cohesive powders in a free fall configuration. Here's a view of the internal components of the DIAF. To the left side center is the high speed strobe lamp for illuminating the particles as they exit from the jet nozzle at the bottom of the feed tube. The lens camera assembly is shown to the right of the nozzle. Three different overlapping ranges are available for the DIAF. Just to the right of the nozzle are air inlets for supplying pressure to des as desirable to the sample stream as it enters the nozzle. At the top again is the feeder and at the lower right is the connection for applying vacuum if desired. This is a view of the DAF back panel where we see the vacuum connection and just above and to the right of that the compressor inlet if dispersion air pressure is desired. Just above are adjustments for the nozzle air which disperses the particles and for the shield air which travels downward on each side of the sample stream to keep the particles on the focal plane. At the top right is the serial port to the vacuum. Adding sample to the DIAF, here a glass bead standard is being poured into the funnel which feeds the vibratory feeder below it. You've seen how the DIAF operates. Now we'll go through the major parts of the software. This is the start screen. Enter sample information here. And up here you can run a new analysis or rerun an analysis from file. And a browser window will come up where you can select the file to rerun. While rerunning the video file, you can view the particles being measured or view the graphical distributions building, exactly as you can do when measuring a new sample. This is the XY graph display where both graphical and tabular size and shape distributions can be displayed for any of the 24 different parameters measured. Here we're seeing the results of six different size parameters for one sample. Looking at the column headings over here on the tabular display, we see the area equivalent diameter in differential volume distribution, the perimeter equivalent diameter in cum percent finer, maximum distance in cum percent coarser, minimum distance and length in differential count or number percent, and width in differential volume. And all of these distributions are displayed here in graphical form. We can also plot up to six different historical records, all as the same parameter and distribution for comparison among different analyses. Just check off the current result box and click get result from file and browse to the files that you want to plot on the graph. Additionally, we can plot any one of these shape parameters against any one of these size parameters on this graph. And all of these settings can be made in the SOP or standard operating procedure.
This is a display of the complete image file, which can be scrolled through, and in the upper right is the list of all the size and shape parameters for the particle highlighted here in the image file. Note that all particles in the image file show a tight red boundary line around them, indicating they were on the focal plane and in focus. In the frame shot above, one of the particles is out of focus and is rejected, not included in the image file or the data. Out of focus particles would corrupt the accuracy of the results. The search particles tab here can be used to filter the particles into groups that meet certain parameter restrictions. For example, here we're displaying only images that have equivalent diameters greater than 50 microns and circularities less than 0.9. This is a view of another data display called a scatter diagram, the blue graph. The location of every particle measured is shown relative to the parameter on the x-axis and the parameter plotted on the y-axis. The darker areas are areas of higher particle concentration. This data is for a garnet sample the same that was shown in the XY graph display and in the View Particles tab. Any of the size and shape parameters can be displayed on either the X or Y axes by choosing them in these windows. Here for the X axis and here for the Y axis. On the right are long lists of summary data for each of the two parameters plotted on the X and Y axes. Currently the area equivalent diameter is on the X axis and circularity, a shape factor, is on the Y axis. The area equivalent diameter, DA, is displayed as a number distribution here and we can see the D50 value here change from 29 to 106 microns when it's changed to a volume distribution as such. Volume distributions are reported by traditional sizing techniques. One of the many features of image analysis is accurate fines measurement when viewed in the number distribution. A very significant advantage of image analysis is the ability to isolate an area of the scattergram. So we've isolated this area of the scattergram down in the fines mode of the number distribution for area equivalent diameter. And when we did that, all of the summary data has changed to represent only the particles within this area of the scattergram and within these two areas of the distributions plotted on the X and Y axes. When we did this, the D50 value for the area equivalent diameter decreased from 29 microns to 23 microns as shown here. This is a powerful tool that can be used to isolate groups of images, sort and filter particles, create classifications of different components in the sample, and develop and use morphological models. Thanks for viewing, and if you have any questions or would like any information on our other particle characterization products, just contact us at microtrack.com.